DNC wants national gun license requirements and next move to confiscate guns from law-abiding Americans. This is the one thing that this 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 DNC CCP party needs. If you're going to convert the United States of America from a republic to a Chinese styled fascistic kind of a it's a cross between fascism and communism and and other other stuff as well. It's it's not it's just not simple. It's a it, uh, the bottom line though it's as old as it's as old as civilization itself. It's priest kingism. This is essentially what they're doing. They're creating a new priest king cult and a new priest king class. And priest kingism is very different from a rule of law republican model. A rule of law republican model assumes that there is wisdom outside of the humanity here on earth that limits the ability of humans to take action against or for one another and in our land that that is the bill of rights king bill king bill is 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 our source for our wisdom that does not depend on the results of elections or the charisma of individuals and it does not depend upon the ability of a corpo state nationalist class to use all of its considerable cultural production power to manipulate Manipulate human beings to fear and hate their own fellow poors. It it doesn't depend on that, and it checks their ability to do that. When follow, nobody's following King Bill much mo much these days. And 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 the two most sacred parts of the Bill of Rights are the right to say what you want and the right to defend yourself against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And the DNC CCP is most assuredly an enemy of the American people. We who believe in the Bill of Rights, who follow the Bill of Rights. If you're an American and you don't believe in the Bill of Rights and follow the Bill of Rights, you're an American in name only. You're an I know. You're a freaking I know. You're not an American. You're just an I know. And you are not for the poors. You're for the billionaires. So to that end, they're trying to figure out any way they can to pass legislation that would cripple our ability to defend ourselves against them because they fully intend on doing whatever they have to do at whatever violent level they have to, 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 to enact to get their way to control we the poors we the poors who now have the ability to draw from technologies around us that enable us to compete with the with the large scale enterprises that these tiny few billionaires control they don't want that possibility they want to cut us off from being able to compete with their power to control our lives and if they're ever going to seal the deal and convert the american republic to a priest king one party system in 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 the in the kind of frame of china where they continue to have like china does china has a strong billionaire class yet yet they they still have their little communism so they have capitalism they have communism but yeah that's it's a, it's a it's a hodgepodge of stuff but it all derives upon an authority whose legitimacy is the authority is claiming not to have the mandate not to have the will of the people the consent of the governed but to have special knowledge regarding the right and moral proper way for humanity to be this is what china bases its authority on and this is what the dnc wishes to base its authority on and it is already using this model and unless and until it confiscates all of our guns it will never be able to fully consolidate power because it won't be able to show up one day and order you to get on a train or order you to to move to another place because it has deemed that for whatever reason your existence or your your placement in a certain land is not the morally right thing for you to do and how do they justify this? They justify this purely with their ability to murder the opposition, which the DNC doesn't fully have yet. Not unless and until they complete this. Here's a little bit more from uh, the case for requiring gun licenses. <laughs> Langley Outdoor Politicians Academy. Politicians tend to focus on universal background checks. License requirements have more evidence behind them. Oh, not they're completely unconstitutional because the given constitutional right in the Second Amendment, which you cannot violate with a license and prof uh, proficiency test, similar to poll taxes in the, uh, you know, South. <laughs> Just saying. Problem. But anyway, let's go because this is amazing. This stuff, you cannot make. By the way, what you end up with uh, in a system that uh, you can only get a 
gun if you have a license. What you end up with is what you have ended up with in New York City, in New York City, where it's so difficult for you to get a concealed carry license. The the very few people who get concealed carry license are politicians and the wealthy. This is again, uh, this will hit the poor's worse than anybody else because the criminals that continue to do the home invasions and whatever else, they're not going to remove their access to guns. You can't do it. You cannot, especially in the age of 3D printing, you cannot end guns in any land. In China, there are still black gun markets where guns are being sold. And people don't need to get the guns from American manufacturers. They can make the guns in their basements, you idiots. Gun control is not even remotely possible. The only thing that's possible is for you to control gun ownership from people who fear the law. And you will not control gun ownership as far as the people who don't give a crap about your laws anymore. The criminals that, that already don't give a crap about your laws. When you're invading somebody's home, you're clearly stating your total disregard to the laws around you. So I, I just want to make that clear here. Make this up. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments field below. So, but if America wants to make a real dent in gun violence, it might want to consider another approach. Requiring a license to buy and own a firearm. This isn't about gun violence. This isn't about violence. This is about control. And whoever wrote this article, this Washington Post article, uh, shame on you. You're not an American. You're, you're, a, you're American in name only. And I know. That's what you are. Just start calling them I knows. Anybody that continues to support the DNC, at this point, you're an I know. You're an absolute I know. Stop calling yourself Americans. Don't fly the American flag. Give away all of the resources that you've ever acquired by living in the American state. Give it all away because it's not yours. You didn't earn it. You didn't build that. Americans built that. Go away. Go to China and see how well you do there, you, you entitled little brats. A license. So now it's no longer a constitutional right. Now it's a privilege, similar to a driver's license. Mm, bit of a problem. That won't stand up in court, but let's keep going because this... It might stand up in court, and the reason it might stand up in court is because courts are peopled by human beings, and human beings in this land are highly and completely and totally politicized. They follow, they fear the, the social more than they fear King Bill. And if you fear the social more than you fear King Bill, you shouldn't be in uh, you shouldn't be a judge and there are many judges in america today that should not be in office because they've already made it clear through a number of their rulings that they really don't give a crap about the bill of rights they only give a crap about the party that appointed them the dnc mm. all right this is evidence that we're on the right track by the way for one the evidence on the effects of universal background checks and assault weapon bans is pretty weak Several studies in recent years have found that universal background checks, at least on their own, don't seem to have a big effect at on least gun on deaths. Their own. Similar, similarly, that, that in research on assault to try to weapons save bans, including the national ban that Biden helped pass in 1994, found that they have little effect on gun violence, largely because the vast majority of such violence is committed with handguns. Wow! Well, there's that's that's a pretty stunning admission there. Uh, also, largely because the um, gun violence that's committed is largely committed by people that, uh, if they need a license to have a gun, they'll get the gun anyway. Criminals, criminals, not law-abiding citizens. Criminals. The only thing that you will do is disarm Americans, peaceful law-abiding Americans and leave them wholly vulnerable to the criminal class that you're enabling and encouraging at, at, the, at, the, at the crushing uh, uh, dis, di disadvantage to the people that you claim to be representing, the disenfranchised. Your laws hurt the disenfranchised the most. Gun control was, was born from racism and the DNC is showing how dialectical white supremacist it truly is by continuing to support this evil to continuing to support gun confiscation because gun confiscation hurts we the poor it hurts black Americans in ghettos far more than it does the billionaires sitting in their in their privileged little uh, whitewashed worlds where they know that if you pass gun licensing laws 
they'll be able to afford the licenses and they'll be able to get the exemptions that allow them to have the guns while we do not. It's just a continued separation of the haves from the have-nots and the DNC represents the haves and the RNC represents the Washington Generals token resistance. It's the Washington Generals. They were the team that played the Harlem Globetrotters all the time in their exhibitions in the 70s. I don't know how late they were, uh, but they always lost and they were supposed to lose. And that's that's what the RNC is. So don't turn to the RNC. Don't turn to the conservatives. Don't turn to the GOP. Turn to King Bill. We as Americans must rally around King Bill, not the GOP. Not the Democrats, definitely not the Democrats because they're wholly taken over by the DNC, CCP. Uh, but we should rally around the Bill of Rights. And at the heart of the Bill of Rights is the right to bear arms and the right to free speech and free association. And these people want to fundamentally destroy those rights in the name of ending, quote unquote, white supremacy while they advance de facto white supremacy in doing so. And by white supremacy, I mean billionaire white supremacy. They don't, they don't, they look at white poors as, as being less than whites. We white poors, we're not white enough. The only whites that really matter in their white supremacism are the ones that live in their Silicon Valley homes next to one another.